answer your question about where I see this going in the future, mm -hmm. where I see it going is translational epigenetics. And what that is, is Lamarckian. We all know Charles Darwin, and we all know Lamarck. And Lamarck was ridiculed because they said, oh, you know, giraffes didn't stretch their necks, and then they passed on their slightly longer neck to the offspring. Mm -hmm. We know that that longer neck was selected. Well, we don't know, but we theorize that we know. It makes sense that that, that giraffe who had the longer neck actually survived because they could get more, more food. But now the Lamarckian stuff is starting to make a comeback, and not entirely, and that's kind of going into translational epigenetics. And a lot of, there's a lot of focus. You and I just talked a lot about the woman, mm -hmm. but the man has a lot to do with this as well. Right. So it's super important to, to nourish the husband as well, or the future, the future father, because sperm is super important. That's carrying genetic code. That's carrying mitochondria, not mm -hmm. as nearly as much as a woman, but it's, it's, it's propelling the sperm to get there in the first place. And if there's, there's issues in there, the epigenetics are off, the tags, are, are in the wrong place, then that baby is going to have issues. And there's, there's a lot of research right now that's looking at obesity and coming from the father in the future generation. Mm -hmm. So I think translational epigenetics and is going to be really, really important. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the next thing. And they're, they're linking methylation to be the main thing with that, right. which is really exciting yeah. because that's my passion, so yeah. we'll see.